let's talk about the practice and the art of letting go. So one, why do you really want to let go in the first place? A lot of times we as humans, and that's a part of the journey that we came to traverse, but we get attached to things. We get attached to people, we get attached to situations, we get attached to jobs and relationships and all that good stuff. And even though all those things are good things to explore and good things to experience, attachment creates a level of disease, of discomfort, of disconnection from your true self. And so learning to let go, learning to detach yourself, not in the sense that you don't have compassion or love for the things that you're experiencing or the people or situations or gratitude for the things that you're experiencing, but from the place of knowing that your well-being is always assured no matter what arises in your life. You're coming from this place of invincibility, from this place of inner knowing of how powerful you truly are. And that no matter what circumstances or life events occur, your well-being will always be assured, even in death, right? So the art of letting go really starts with recognizing that you are an infinite being and that this game of life on planet Earth is just that, a game, a playground, science lab, whatever you want to call it. And it's here to allow you to remember not only who you truly are, but to embody more of your divinity in human form. I like to think of life on planet Earth as sort of a simulation or a video game that my soul is playing, right? And oftentimes I get caught up in the characters, I get caught up in the situations and the going after this and doing this and that. But when I take time for stillness and self-reflection, I remember that I am the person playing the game. I'm not the person in the game, the simulation itself. And having this perspective allows me to traverse life with more ease and just feel more in tune with myself on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do you cultivate this practice? Give yourself time and spaciousness to be alone. Give yourself time and spaciousness to be in silence. And give yourself time to sit and simply just contemplate your divinity. Contemplate what it means to no longer be attached to things to the degree where you feel like you will be debilitated or your life will go astray if you aren't attached to these things. And you'll find that the more that you do these things, the more that you will allow your well-being and synchronicities and abundance and other things that you, your heart desires to flow in with more ease and more grace. And so you're no longer a, you know, running after things or chasing things or pushing things away and saying something shouldn't be happening. You're moving from a place of my well-being is assured, all is well, even if all is not well right on an outward looking situation maybe you have a disease or maybe there's not enough money in the bank account or maybe there's discord between you and a partner or a family member or something like that even if those situations are happening ultimately all of this is still a game right and all of this will this too shall pass right and i think because i've, I've traversed a lot of things in my life personally on a personal note just from experiencing a lot of death in my own life um, from fa friends to family members and stuff like that and just gone through a lot in my own personal journey I've recognized that the common denominator in on this planet while I'm in this fleshly earth suit is that this too shall pass it always comes to pass it always passes whether there's not enough money in the bank account or whether you know there's an argument or discord between a loved one or a family member or whether you know a health issue or a scare arises you know what I notice is that it always comes back to peace, love, and joy at some point. And that these little things that arise in our lives that creates, you know, sort of disharmony or dis-ease, they're always here with golden nuggets to teach us how we're usually attached to something uh, in a deeper way. And not to say that being attached is wrong. It's not wrong. It's just a part of the human journey. Being attached is sort of natural on our planet. It sort of stems from our desire for safety and belonging and all that stuff, and that's natural. So I'm not saying that being attached is wrong, but I'm just offering a different perspective that when you start to embrace letting go, embracing de detachment, you'll find that you're no longer disturbed by things to a, deep, a deeper degree anymore, right? not 
your your peace of mind isn't disturbed because you know that this too shall pass whether it passes with you and death and that's another whole topic <laughs> i've definitely I, I think have come to peace with the idea of death in my own life so i think that's also where this perspective comes from i've <laughs> Uh, experienced near-death experiences in my own life and done a lot of research on near-death experiences and experienced a lot of loved ones passing away so I've come to terms with death in, in a deeper way so I think that's why I can speak from this point of view so I think that some, a lot of times when you know you hear spiritual people or spiritual teachers and thought leaders talk from this level of you know a, a, a deeper state of just detachment it's because they have come into deep Mm, communion and acceptance of the ephemeral nature of life on planet earth you know and it doesn't mean that i don't experience fear it doesn't mean that i don't experience any human emotion i still experience the gamut of human emotions but what i've noticed just within cultivating the practice and the art of letting go and detachment is that i don't really stress out about much in life anymore <laughs> And that's been my modus operandi for the last few years of my life, at least last five to seven to eight years of my life. I really don't find myself stressing out about anything for long periods of time. Yeah, I might have a blow up. Yeah, I might need to express anger or let the energy move in for, you know, a day or so. But I'm not sitting in something. I'm not usually finding myself sitting in denser frequencies for long periods of time for more than a day usually. It, usually it's more than like 30 minutes no no longer than 30 minutes to an hour depending on how dense the emotion is but you know i think the, cultivating the art of letting go and cultivating the art of detachment will allow you to experience life and traverse life events with more ease and grace you know and gratitude for what does arise you know what i mean and so you don't find yourself in this sort of topsy-turvy you know emotional roller coaster all the time you find yourself that life just kind of goes just like nature this beautiful nature just like peace serenity you just find that life is just it becomes simplified you know so i hope these tips have been helpful you know and the, just to recap cultivating the practice and art of letting go is just starting to give yourself time and space to be alone one time to sit in silence and stillness two and three to cultivate the awareness of who you truly are beyond just this fleshly earth suit you know and just contemplating it you know one of the questions that my higher self always brings to me <laughs> is who are you you know just that simple self-inquiry of who am i and maybe it starts out with, you know, a woman sitting by a lake watching the wind blow. <laughs> or, you know, black woman with this amount of blah, 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 history and stuff behind. But then when you go deeper and you keep saying, who am I? Who am I? And you start to go beyond just the thoughts and the stories. Then you can start to sort of peel back the layers of your identity beyond just this fleshly earth suit. So I hope these tips have been helpful. And uh, as always, flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't be good. You are divine. You are divine being and your soul knows exactly what you come to explore and experience while on this planet. So remember what you can see is what you'll receive. What you expect is what you'll get. And however you feel is what will become real for you. So vibrate higher.